Now there are a whole bunch of log rules, or the rules of logarithms, that you're going to need to be able to use and apply in this course. You don't necessarily need to be able to prove why they're that, and um, certainly you can see me if you want to know why, why these rules work, um, but you certainly have to be able to uh, apply them to, to your work. So the first rule is the exponent rule, and it says this. Log base a of b to the power of x is equal to x times log base a of b. So here's the thing. If we have an exponent of what we're taking the log of, the exponent can be written down in front as a product of the exponent times the logarithm. So for example, if we had log base 2 of 7 to the power of 3, we could write this as 3 times log base 2 of 7. So any exponent can be written in front of the logarithm as a product. Another rule is the change of base rule. Change of base rule says this, that if we have log base a of b, that this can equal log base n of b divided by log base n of a. And as long as your n, here's your restrictions, n has got to be greater than 0, and n cannot equal 1. Okay, so your base can be whatever you like, as long as it's positive and not 1. And b has to be greater than 0, and a has to be greater than 0, a not equal to 1. So these are some, these are some important restrictions okay, to note with, with this rule. So where this is really important is if we have this. So say we had to figure out what is log base 3 of 7. Well, log base 3 of 7, we know that if the exponent were 2, 3 squared would equal 9, so 2 is too big. And log base 3 of 1, well, 3 to the power of 1 is only 3, so as again, it's going to be somewhere between 1 and 2. The problem with your calculator is your calculator only does base 10. It actually does one other base 2, we'll talk about that later. But it definitely will not do base 3. So what we need to do is use this rule and convert this to log 7 divided by log 3. So I'm going to go with base 10 because that that's what the calculator uses. So if I wanted to figure out what this answer is now, what the answer to log base 3 of 7 is, I simply need to go to the calculator log 7 and divide by log 3. And I get 1.77. So in other words, 3 to the power of 1.77 will be approximately 7, because I had to round, round that off. So that's the change of base rule. So you've seen two rules. You've seen the rule where we have an exponent, we're allowed to bring it down in front, and um, we have the change of base rule. So here's where this, the logarithms, just those two rules there are so powerful. Say you had a question like this. You had to solve this equation. What exponent on 3, or 3 to the power x, equals 7? In the old days, you would have had to trial and error, get your calculator out, fool around with it, try 3 to the power of 1, 3 to the power of 1.3. Eventually, you might get close to what the solution is. But any time our variable is an exponent, okay, any time the variable is an exponent, we will take the logarithm of both sides. So we're going to take the log of the left side, the log of the right side. You remember the rules of equation. We're allowed to do the same thing to one side as long as we do it to the other side. And since I have an exponent, the exponent rule will allow me to put the exponent down in front. And so I have x log 3 
equals log 7. And then to isolate x, because this is an equation that I'm solving for, I need to divide both sides by log 3. And so I get log 7 divided by log 3, which of course we've already figured out is 1.77. It was like that example before. You just go log 7 divided by log 3. Or if I wanted to write this as an exact answer, okay, remember log A divided by log B, log base B of A. So this is, becomes the base, this becomes what I'm taking a log of. So log base 3 of 7 would be the solution, the exact answer, or as a decimal, 1.77. We're going to do a lot more of uh, these equation solvings a little later on. Okay, this next rule is the rule for multiplication. And it says this, if we have log base A of x times y, so the logarithm of two things multiplied together, then this can be equal to log base A of x plus log base A of y. Okay, or you can read it the other way too. If I have log base A of x plus log base A of y, then that's the same thing as log base A of x times y. Okay, so the sum of the logarithms, as long as their bases are the same, is equal to the logarithm of their products. So here's an example. Say we were asked to simplify this. Log base 6 of 12 plus log base 6 of 3. Well, using this rule, the bases are both base 6, and we are adding these two logarithms. So I can combine this to log base 6 of 12 times 3, and 12 times 3 is 36, so that would be log base 6 of 36. And of course, this is asking what exponent on 6 is going to give me 36? Well, that would be 2. So log base 6 of 12 plus log base 6 of 3 is 2. And you can probably guess that there will also be 1 for division. Log base a of x divided by y will be log base a of x minus log base A of Y. Okay, so if we have two things subtracting each other, we can write that as a single logarithm, and it will be the logarithm of their quotient. So an example, say we had to simplify this. Let's go log base 2 of 24 minus log base 2 of 6. Say we were asked to simplify this. Well, if I have log of something minus log of something, I can say this is log base 2 of 24 divided by 6. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. And log base 2 of 4 is asking me what exponent on 2 would give me 4. And of course that's 2, because 2 squared is 4. And this last rule we have here is not one that you'll see in the textbook. Um, however, it is one that sometimes occasionally shows up on the exam, so we should make sure that we know it. It says this, if the base is a, and a is raised to an exponent, and that exponent is the logarithm of base a, so if these two are the same, the base of the exponent and the base of the logarithm, then, in effect, when you take a base and raise it to a power of a logarithm, those operations are simply cancelling each other out. And so this expression will simply be equal to x. So as an example, if we had 3 to the power of log base 3 of 7, then that will simply be equal to, to 7. So a fairly straightforward one, if you see a base, and this base is raised to a power, and in the exponent there's a logarithm, which has the same base, then you can just um, say that this will be equal to, to x, or in this example, this would equal 7. So let's review all of those log rules one more time. 
there's the exponent rule that says log base a of b to the power of x is equal to x times log base a of b. The change of base rule that says log base a of b is equal to log base n of b divided by log base n of a. So n can be any base you want as long as it's greater than 0 and not 1. The multiplication rule that says log base n of a times b is equal to log base n of a plus log base n of b. The division rule that says log base n of a divided by b is equal to log base n of a minus log base n of b. The log exponent rule that says a to the power of log base a of x will simply equal x. As long as the bases are the same, you'll just equal x. And then there's the back rule that we use for changing logs to exponents. So log base a of b equals c means that b equals a to the c. So in other words, it spells the word back.